Hi, everyone. So I'm Siris Raquel Rivas Verdejo. For those of you that are new to our Soaring Beyond Definition calls, um, first announcement, we've been doing monthly calls all throughout the pandemic and the quarantines that everyone's having at different degrees around the world. And moving forward, we're actually going to be doing seasonal calls. We would still like to support you. We would still like to provide you a chance to get some free facilitation tools and coaching. And also as part of the email list, as many of you know, there's a lot of free eBooks. Um, and so if you'd like to know about the eBooks or get them resent to you, let me know. Um, but we're moving to seasonal meetings. And so moving forward, it'll be a spring. This is our spring one. Ah, welcome to spring. And then we'll have a summer, a fall, and a winter. Our next two calls will be on um, Thursday, June 24th, and Thursday, September 23rd, same time. So you can go ahead and mark your calendars right now, and then we will include the registration links in the replay email, and we'll send you some reminders as we get closer to those days. Uh, my birthday month is May, and as some of you know, I love celebrating all month long, and so be on the lookout for the month of May for some gifts that I'll be sending, some freebies, some discounts and deals, uh, and so we get to play around with that. Some highlights from this month, just some announcements before we go into the questions you sent in. Thank you so much for sending in questions. And if you um, didn't get a chance to send in a question, you can go ahead and pop it in the chat. I'll get to as many of them as I can in this 30 minute time period that we have here. Uh, some highlights for this month, we had the soaring as a male being call. That was amazing. It was so much fun. Um, me and Imran Peter Farouk uh, had a great time where we just talked about so many different awesome things and we had a lot of beautiful journeying that happened. Um, I just got a lot of downloads as to what it really is like for male beings and uh, Imran was a wonderful co-facilitator for that um, and we'll be having some additional discussions, another soaring as a male being chat that will be streamed into our private Soaring Beyond Definition group. The next one will be May 13th. That's a Thursday, a little bit later. And I'm gonna pop into the chat the local time for it. So you can have that. Um, but one of the things that I really loved about the first call was that we really did open up some doorways to really receiving more from each other. There were both men and women in the call. And then on top of that, there were some really beautiful comments in our private group. So thank you for all of you who watched the video. The format is a little bit different where the first 30 minutes, we are all on Zoom and it's recorded and streaming into our private um, group. And, and Imran and I spoke about a couple things and we were addressing some questions. And then we turned off the recording and we had 30 minutes of just a kind of an extension call. This is space to really get to know each other even further for more questions to be asked. Um, I got to practice having my mouth zipper on and really listening. And it really invited me to realize how much more I could receive if I was willing to listen to others and if I was willing to listen to my body and other people's bodies way more. There was so much that was facilitated by all of the bodies in the call and what Imran Peter Farouk's body facilitated us to was also amazing. So thank you for that Imran and I really look forward to our upcoming our upcoming May call. Um, okay here, great. So then on top of that, uh, there's some more events coming up. So we had this wonderful Hidden Figures and Codes, a magical art taster um, class that we did. It was one hour and we were guided. I was guiding everyone to do a treasure chest to really develop and look at our gifts and, and capacities. You might've seen some of the posts from my treasure chest and some other people's. 
And that replay is still available. It's $35 US. And then we're gonna have another one, uh, Hidden Figures and Codes. This one will have a, a different focus. And the priority for this one will be living with the earth and its creatures and looking at all of the hidden figures and codes, the archetypes that are in the earth and with its creatures so that we can have more of us and really continue to discover our gifts and capacities with living and with dying. And so the, if, if you went to the previous one, you can just keep using that same treasure chest and add to it, or you can make a totally new treasure chest in this one because we're gonna still have the art and movement piece to this activity as well, okay? And so for that one, um, that is both of those hidden figures and codes calls are $35 US. And the upcoming one, if you wanna join us live, I'm putting the time link in the chat for you all, okay? We will also have a $5 call for our being a different possibility for families call. So it's all about everything with related to families. Um, as many of you know, I am a speech language pathologist, learning behavioral specialist and feeding therapist. And we have the, what would you like to add to your family group on Facebook? It's a private group. And given all of the wonderful questions in there, I thought it might be nice to do a call specifically talking about being a different possibility with families, how I have been that, um, what the families that I've worked with have invited me to, have asked me to be with them so that they can feel more empowered, that they can feel more capable moving forward and taking action for however many children are in the family. Sometimes there's not any children in the family. Um, and yet there's these, these other energies involved there. Maybe there's people who work with families and children. Maybe it's people who, um, who are considering having children and would like to be more prepared, would like to have some tools available for them to, to do that effectively with a sense of ah, clarity and way more joy. And so that call was going to be Wednesday, May 19th. Um, at 1 p.m. Eastern. And it, like I mentioned, it's just going to be $5. Just a bit of a contribution to honor um, my time and make sure y'all show up and watch it. <laughs> uh, and then super, super excited for uh, starting in June, we're going to have an, a seen and unseen book club. We're going to have me, I'm going to open us up with um, a book that I'll, I'll let y'all know about as we get closer to the, to the day. And then all future calls will meet once a month. And they'll be co-hosts with me each month talking about a different book that has these seen and unseen elements to it. So we're choosing books that either have, are available in all the languages like French and Italian and Spanish that are in a lot of the participants um, of our classes that they speak those languages. But if it's not available in their language, we're hoping that it'll be a book that has been made into a movie or that is available on like electronic reader so that people can do the copy pasting with Google Translate to get some ideas of the themes in the book, some of the energies of it before we go ahead and talk about it. With a bunch of playfulness and irreverence, we're gonna be really looking at our awareness with these things, the energies that are in these books. And then there'll also be some energetic clearings from a bunch of different modalities. All of the different co-hosts have a plethora of tools at, in their arsenals. And so they get to choose which way is gonna create the most for us to clear things. So you might experience all kinds of different energies um, considering the, the different co-hosts that we'll have available. So I'm really excited to play with even more energies. Some of the co-hosts will be kind of showcasing different modalities that I'm not even familiar with personally myself that it's not in my arsenal. And so I'm really excited about that. And uh, la 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 la, oh yes. So we're gonna send you a survey in the next week or so to see if you'd be interested in three different things. So if you would like a copy of the living beyond abuse and trauma using the living and dying body process, this is going to be an ebook that kind of gives you some ideas of how the living and dying body process 
clears abuse and trauma from not just your body, but from your reality, from the mental state. And then the other ebook that you might be interested in is one talking about eradicating pain and illness from your body. Some of you might know that I used to have a lot of chronic pain and illness. I used to have chronic anxiety and depression. And even though it's been 15 years, I guess, and it was about 15 years of that being my reality, um, I get questions about it all the time. And I don't, I don't take it for granted that it's not as easy for other people to do it. And so I'd love to give you some tools on, on that if you're interested. And so I'll be sending out a, a survey so that you can express your interest on in it. Um, and we'll go from there. And then lastly, the third thing that we'll be studying, seeing a survey about in the next couple of weeks um, is going to be if you're interested in a virtual writing retreat. I made a post, maybe some of you saw it, um, on my personal Facebook wall saying, hey, I'd like about eight to 10 people so that I can get hold myself accountable to writing all these books that I'm writing. I'm writing about three to five different books at any given moment. Um, some of them ebooks, but some of them like bigger kind of projects. And um, let's, you know, let's contribute to each other. Let's inspire each other. Let's play together. We'll have a private group. We'll have some facilitation. I'll share my resources and we'll clear some of these blocks so that we can all really move forward in our writing. And within 48 hours, it was booked up. We have our 10 people. And so that made me think, well, I wonder who else would be interested in a virtual writing retreat like this. Um, some of you have asked for support in writing your own business eBooks so that you can use the, them as lead magnets to lead people to your email lists and things like that. Um, but there are people that are doing songwriting in our virtual writing retreat or book writing or poetry. So it doesn't have to be any one thing. And I think with all of those energies together, we can just blow away all of these blocks even more. And so I'm going to send out a survey and if there is enough interest, then I will create additional groups of multiple virtual writing retreats. Um, and if there's not an interest, I already got my group and I'm gonna keep writing and you'll see hopefully the content for that very, very soon because it's also so that I can write these books that you've been asking me to write. So thank you for kicking my butt a little bit with that. And for those that are in the current virtual writing retreat. Thank you for that. And I'm super excited for us to get started on April 11th with that one. Um, that is it. So let's jump into the questions. Uh, we have here um, a question. Okay, so what would it take for me to soar beyond the challenges in my life right now? Wowza. <laughs> Right out the gate, poo, 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 poo. Um, <laughs> I hear you. Um, gosh, the biggest thing that my mom and I have been talking about lately that we are seeing is all the more required from ourselves and from the people around us is allowance. When we are feeling like so many things are out of our control. And there's so many things changing all the time, week to week, and sometimes day to day, and maybe in my life, like multiple times a day. I mean, and I don't think I'm the only one with that. <laughs> um, we sometimes get to be really rigid and start tight fisting certain aspects of our lives. We start to try to control our body more, start to control the people around us, um, we start to look for justification and the why for things more. And a lot of times there's not really a why that's going to be satisfactory, satisfying, that's where it's satisfying for us. <laughs> um, and so allowance is a concept that I learned with access consciousness. Um, and access consciousness talks about allowance as being that everything is just an interesting point of view that there's no right or wrong with it. There's no good or bad about it. It's just an interesting point of view. And there's a lot of points of views right now that we're moving into, instead of just like it flowing and it just being our point of view, we are trying to convince other people of it. And, and I guess, I'm guessing, and I'm, and I'm also not guessing <laughs> that for some of us, we're doing that to feel like 
we are the creators of our lives more, that we're in control. And controlling others is not a way for us to acknowledge that we're the creators of our own lives. Our choices, including if we're choosing to be an allowance or not, if we're choosing to argue with people when we know that they're not listening, not willing to receive what we're saying, they're not even asking for our opinion, but we're ready to give it. Oh my goodness. That those are the things that are going to create our life and reality as well. And a lot of that is a lot of turmoil. It's a lot of, of conflict and confrontation that doesn't necessarily be the case. Now, don't get me wrong. There are definitely things that need to be called out. There are things, actions that people are doing that are hurting other people that, that we might not want to ignore, that we're not going to like avoid it. But choosing who you say certain things to or not is very powerful. Really looking at where is the people who are asking for your opinion and are willing to hear it and are willing to have these dynamic open conversations and the people that are not willing to hear it, that no matter what you say and do, they're going to hold on to their point of view. It gives you the possibility to actually know how to flow your energy and your attention so that you don't burn out. If many of you are exhausted, that's one of the things that you have control over that you can choose right now, right now. You can choose if you're going to waste your time talking and arguing with people that aren't not asking for that, are not willing to receive it, are not willing to hear you. And then though, and instead of looking for the people who are willing to have those conversations, who are willing to consider something else, who are willing to have a conversation with no judgment. Um, I just had a, one of these conversations and last night and this morning where somebody was convincing me that I shouldn't be doing what I do with my alternative medicine methods that I use and the natural remedies that I use. And they, and I wasn't trying to convince them at all to do what I was doing. I was just saying, I said, oh, I just did ozone therapy. I love ozone therapy. And they got really upset from a space of caring for me, by the way. They were like, I'm really worried about you because I don't want you to get hurt. I want you to be on this planet. I want you to live. So there was a caring there. And yet I wasn't asking their opinion about if I should do it or not. They just asked, hey, what did you just do tonight? And I was like, I gave myself an ozone treatment. And then they got all bajiggity. And we realized that I had to point out, I'm not trying to convince you to do this or not. I'm just answering your question. And I'm not gonna have this discussion with you because I don't think you and I are going to see on, be on the same page about it. And I don't need us to agree about this. I don't, it doesn't impact our friendship. It doesn't impact our relationship. So, all right. Now, what are those things that you can do that with where you can just have the allowance and let it go and not judge them. And finally that this person got to me and it's like, you're right, I apologize. I just really care about you, but you, it's true. There are things that we're gonna disagree upon and we don't have a, to agree on this. And I was like, and for me, what I didn't say was, and there's, most things, I, we, I don't have to agree with anyone about anything. I don't have these have tos in my life. And man, does it save me so much energy. <laughs> because part of the chronic pain and illness I used to have was all of the have tos that I was locking in my body, that I was keeping really rigid and tight in my world, that as soon as I let it go, man, did they start <laughs> letting go of all of these blocks and the pain that it takes so much work to hold this in place. And I just could use that energy for something else. So one of the things that for you that you're asking this question to soar beyond the challenges in your life right now is where are you flowing energy and attention and talking and doing stuff with people that, and with spaces, because it could be businesses too, that it's not really where your energy should be going anymore. You just reroute it to something else. This person I had this beautiful interaction with, and even when it was tense, I still consider it very beautiful But because we, we got to a place of allowance. We got to a place of acknowledging that we're grateful for each other and that on both ends, it comes from caring and then we let it go. We dropped the, the rope so there wasn't this tug of war anymore. Drop the rope, people, drop 
the rope. <laughs> All right. Um, another question that was asked, um, how do I get out of scarcity, lack, restriction, and financial worry? Yeah, that's another big one. Please use what I just said about where you flow your energy to with this question as well. And I'm going to add another piece to it. Um, if you have a sense of scarcity and restriction and financial worry, part of it is how much are you aware of other people that have that? Some of it might be yours, but a bunch of it might not be yours. And so as soon as you start acknowledging that and you're like, all right, bye, this isn't mine. Bye, not mine, not mine, not mine. Ha, huh. I wonder how much more space you'd have to have the clarity on what you can uniquely choose to get out of the financial situation that you're in. Um, we're going to be making available the Money Your Way calls that we did in, I guess that was 2019 into 2020 a bit. Yeah, um, I can't even remember the year and stuff right now, but we're gonna make them available Give me a couple weeks on that because there's a lot of projects going on and we do have it translated some of the different themes because there was a different theme each month. And so some of them like seducing your business to make you money and including the business of living, are your relationships making you money, generating and receiving um, money through uncertainty, which is definitely valid right now. And it seems like uncertainties in your world message me directly. And since I know your name that sent this, this question in, I'll also ping you and see if you'd be interested in getting that. Because one of the things that we look at is actually looking at all of the different revenue streams you currently have, and then asking questions and doing exercises so you can add on new revenue streams. The 14 days of Soaring Beyond Definition with money is also something that we made available. I think it was just like $30. And it was 14 days every day you had a different tool where you got something that would help you add to your money streams, clear blocks around money and finances, and also add to your money flows. And so if you'd like the replay of that, let us know. But there are some tools that were not in that that were in the money your way that we already got the ping that people given so much worry around money might benefit from. And so we're gonna look at that and we're gonna send out the emails in all the different languages for that in the, in the next couple of weeks or so. Certainly by May, by my birthday month. Um, and then the other piece with that is this restriction. Um, when the, we feel restricted in our worlds and in our lives, we also start going like this and start contracting our bodies often. And so one of the things that I recommend for everyone is movement on a regular basis. And it could be inside. If you're if you're limited as to where you can go, if you can't go out of your homes that much, like looking at workout videos, YouTube videos, dancing. We had that great masquerade ball in the winter where we all got to dance together around the world. So much fun. I think that maybe I'll have to do one of those for my birthday month and we're just gonna rock out a birthday dancing and I'll have a playlist and we'll just dance together. I think that might be fun. I haven't thought of that before now, but that sounds like really, really fun. So if you guys want that, let me know. But really get some movement in on a regular basis. And that includes running different body processes on yourself. That is movement, internal energetic movements, in addition to exercise and getting out there and getting your heart rate up, even if it's just for 20 minutes a day, is super helpful and there's a lot of research that supports how that can also improve your mental state and so then you get that all that stuff out of your system you get the endorphins going and then when you ask questions about what you can do with your finances you might have some other ideas pop in your mind that you wouldn't otherwise have pop up okay so definitely recommend that as well especially since you made that point of using the word restriction that has a lot of like oh, energy to it. So good luck with that. And hopefully um, that helps. Thanks so much for sending in the question. Um, someone else sent in the question, what would it take for me to be the invitation to be and live a pleasurable, permissive, abundant, enriching life with ease, joy, and glory? I love it. I love, love, love that question. The first place I would start with it is where are you already being the invitation 
to be and live a pleasurable, permissive, abundant, enriching life with ease, joy, and glory. Start with acknowledgement. I love starting with acknowledgement. It's like my favorite tool. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. It's like, what's right about you? What are you? Where are you already being that? Acknowledge it. Write some of that stuff down. Put it in post-its. You know, you guys, I talk about the post-its all the time, right? My different color post-its here. <laughs> and I'll you know, put it on the walls all over. Put it on your computer. Put it on whatever you want that you see on your mirror, in your bathroom, on your kitchen fridge. And it's about reminding you of what's true, what's the gift of you, and then asking for more of that to show up. And what are the other ways that this can show up? And then what else? And then what else? And then what else? And then when you get an idea, actually choose it. You know, my coaching program is all about choosing it all your way. That's what it's called. And it's for people who are super aware of possibilities, who are super aware of what they would like to create in the world, or they know that there's something that they're supposed to create and they're not sure how it's supposed to look like. And then as the awareness shows up through these exercises and tools in the coaching program, then they're held accountable by moi and their own demand of themselves to choose it. Because for most of us, it's not a lack of awareness, it's a lack of choosing. And so if you'd like to be held more accountable for your choices, you can set up a free consultation with me for a coaching session and see what are the possibilities with that. Um, another question, I think this is our last question unless somebody else pops one into the chat. Oh, okay, someone, actually two more. Um, what would it take for the pain that I have in the anus and my hemorrhoids to go away? Well, one of the things with, with um, rectal things and, and hemorrhoids in general is the pressure and the weight. So I'm wondering what else is going on with your health. If you've gained weight recently, if there has been any changes in your diet, if you're having enough fiber, you know, I'm a feeding therapist as well. And I work very closely with a lot of holistic physicians, nutritionists, occupational therapists on how the connection of movement and diet and nutrition and our awareness of other bodies can influence how, what shows up with our body. And so I actually have way more questions about this than I can really address today. But if you would like to send me more information on what's going on with your diet or with your body with relation to this, I think that would I could give you some more tailored um, tips on what to do. Uh, but one of the things with this is for a lot of hemorrhoids things, if it's chronic and it keeps coming back over and over again, I highly recommend for you to go to a holistic physician or somebody that does functional medicine because they're gonna look at you as a whole person instead of just through the lens of like neurology, oh, hormones, oh, OBGYN, so this part, and they might be missing some pieces that are interconnecting. Um, and so, Definitely would recommend that as well. Um, and there are great, uh, great changes that can be created by running the body processes, whichever ones you're available to you um, on directly on that part of your body. And um, I can also provide you with a remote session of any of our of the tools that are in my arsenal, if you'd like to address this. I really recommend for you to also get the a consultation with a holistic physician as well. Um, in addition to addressing the energetics, you're going to look at the physiological, the energetic and the spiritual all together. So you're not missing anything. Okay. And then that'll help you actually get to the point where it doesn't keep coming back and it, it stops being a consideration in your world. All right. Um, thank you so much for that. Uh, la, la, la. Um, oh, what do you do when other people's lives <laughs> are exploding and even though it's not your stuff, I'm changing that word to stuff. Even though it's not your stuff, you are affected. Oh. <laughs> That's been the theme of the month for me. <laughs> wow. Mm. So um, it seems like everybody in my life is having stuff exploding from family members getting fired, moving. I have a very close family member that was sexually assaulted, um, you know, deaths, a uh, couple more suicides, 
um, a lot of mental health stuff going on. And I know it's not mine. I know it's not mine. And it doesn't make it any less intense. It doesn't make it that I'm not sometimes very much affected by it. I'm not going to lie. It's, there are some days where it's like, I don't know if I want to pick up the phone because who's going to have a crisis today, you know, or uh, I'm not sure I can be what's, what all these people are asking of me to be and still get my stuff done. So I hear you. One of the biggest things I would recommend that has been a big help for me in the midst of all of this is really making sure to carve out space for yourself, even if it's 30 minutes a day, that is just for you and doing the self-care and making it a priority. I literally have different colors in my Google calendar and one of them is health and well-being and another one is all about me and, I, and they're, one's yellow and one's like teal. And I make sure that there's yellow and teal in my calendar every week. And, there, and if at least one of them is in my day every day, 30 minutes. It could be soaking in the bath. It could be, gosh, writing and journaling. It could be watching a funny TV show, whatever it is, 30 minutes. And it fills up your cup to make sure that you're still including you in your life and nurturing you in your body and having some rest while you're in maybe jumping from one crisis to the next to the next, which has certainly been what I've been dealing with because it's not just family and friends, it's also clients, right? And so when you're someone that's giving and giving and giving a lot, you need to make sure to take care of yourself or it's a recipe for burnout. I really do not wish that for any of you. And I definitely don't wish it for myself. <laughs> I've been there, done that, next. So um, that's the one thing I can tell you right now. And if you'd like to talk more about how to have some tools in this and have some support and make yourself a priority, go ahead and send me a message, okay? Um, and those are all the questions that I have. I almost made it all in the 30 minutes. I got like five minutes over. Sorry, y'all. Um, I think I'm looking, just double checking. Those are all the questions and announcements. Unless, am I missing anything else, crew? You good? Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. And we will see you for the next free call in June, June 24th. Uh, is that right? Let me double check. Yes, June 24th, same time, same place. Uh, we'll make sure to get you the link for that one as well in the, in the emails. If you're not already in our Soaring Beyond Definition group on Facebook, Join us in there. We have a lot of fun playtime in there. A lot of great people around the world. A lot of beautiful images of nature and inspirational dance and uh, animals and just people choosing really cool different things. We have recipes and cakes and you know. So for those of you that are bakers and cooks, there's just a lot of ways that people can use to nurture themselves, their bodies, and soar beyond the definition that anyone's trying to project at you and your body. So until then, thank you, thank you, thank you. Be well wherever you are and have a good day, afternoon or evening. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>